So there may be an election going on for governor. It may be heated and it may be controversial and they may be you know, out trying to do each other. That's fine. Paul and I, and I think the Democrat members and the Republican members in the House and on both sides out, we're just going to try to do our best to work together and not let the election get in the way of doing something good for the public. Mr. Speaker, your chief of staff left last month and has become a Democrat. What does that do to your, he was working on your re-election of the House members. What does that do? How worried are you about that? And what does that say about Republican priorities and, that he is now saying he doesn't believe in? <laughs> well, I think it says more about him than it does about us. Uh, we've been consistent all the way through to try to uh, uh, reduce the size of our state government, try to get our budget in place. And uh, Chris Benjamin was a key leader uh, on my staff in helping us shrink the size of the state government, put people back to work, protect families. Uh, he did all those things. He believes all those things. And so I, I think uh, that you need to go ask Chris those questions because I'm confused, I'm disappointed, and saddened uh, because I know we've just got a confused young guy who really is, is not really probably making the best decisions right now. And the thing, I mean, this is a guy that three weeks ago had a Fred Thompson bumper sticker on the back of his car. So how can you be supporting Fred Thompson and all of a sudden decide you're a Democrat? I, I don't know how you do that. I can't answer those questions for Chris. You'd have to ask him those questions. All I know is the things that we believe in and we've been fighting for since Chris has been on our team are the same today as they were then. And I don't think he just switched overnight. So did what happened? Did it come as a shock to you? A huge shock, yeah. And disappointment, I might add. Did he talk to you at all? about what he is playing for.